Hello, this is my MX-15 installation. It's on my laptop, which is an old Lenovo. It has a wonderful keyboard. I just love it to death. And uh, other than that, the machine is absolutely nothing to write home about. And as you can see, I have the XFCE desktop installed. And that was one of the primary reasons uh, I went with MX-15. And the other being MX-15 ships with a wonderful suite of programs called MX Tools. And it gives you the ability to access your Wi-Fi manager really quickly. And you can see that I have a Realtek Wi-Fi card in here. And I've had problems with some installations with that card. And to configure it for this particular distribution, all I had to do was take a snapshot of what the loaded drivers looked like when I initially installed the program, which I never had any problem with the driver from a live USB or CD environment, but when I installed the program, eventually it would download some additional drivers and cause conflicts. So I just took a snapshot of what it came originally loaded with, and then I restricted it myself to that list, and I've had no problem since. Uh, you can see I, you can use Windows drivers and install them if, if you needed to. So that was just a wonderful little tool, and it made installing and getting my MX-15 up and running so much easier. I really enjoy the program. It is Debian based rather than Arch based, which is what Manjaro is. This program is a rather a little bit lighter than Manjaro. If you look over here at my memory, I'm using with running simple screen recorder only 560 megabytes of RAM. That's very light. I have access to my programs and file managers. It does use the Thunar file manager. So I have to have Catfish installed. Let's see, there she is. And that would let me search my file system because I can't do it straight from the Thunar file system except for one folder at a time. And I also have Gigolo installed on it so I can access my uh, USB driven hard drive that's off my router. And it's easy to install Opera and Chrome and Firefox. I have Steam, I have Play on Linux. It really runs every program I want it to. And I can save my files up to the internet and access them very quickly from my primary driver machine. And going across the top, I have access to my workspaces, very easy. My active program, the time, the weather. And these plugins are pretty much straight from the XFC desktop. So it's going to be the same as Manjaro. I see I have a few updates to download. And just scrolling across, I have my memory and swap and my core usage, temperatures, my ZimWiki disk desktop, which I just love, Kodi, another great, great program. And I, have a, I do use Opera a fair bit on this particular computer. So that's my MX-15 installation. And really, the primary difference between it and Manjaro is it's Debian. So I have to use Synaptic Package Manager to access my repository of programs instead of Pac-Man or Octopi in my Arch installation. And other than that, it's very stable. It's very light. It, it works. And it works day in and day out. And that's what you need from a distribution. Thanks for watching.